Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. This is just a quick, quick update on Snowstorm 2022. Um, it's funny that today's the first day of winter. Got my hair all pulled back and... Uh, sorry, I am literally just getting in. It's still snowing. Of course, when the weather's like this, it's a call then I don't care how my hair looks today. Pull it back, pin it back, put a hat on it. So I've got my layers, my coat, a hoodie, a sweater, just a number of things. Ugh. But I just kind of like rushed out of work trying to get home as quickly as I could because as the snow continues to fall um, the roads continue to get worse and there are plows out there that are you know trying to clear the roads as much as they can really but when there's snow on top of ice and more ice and more snow, there's only so much that they can do. And it's funny because even to, it was to a point where on some of the side streets that are, are set up with speed bumps for safety. Sorry, I just had to do that. I've had hat on for a while because I've been in and outside both. Um, so there's speed bumps for safety on some streets, and there's so much snow that you can't even really feel the speed bump when you're like going over it. There's just a lot of snow. But on the bright side, because the temperature is so low, which kind of really doesn't make sense, not that it's, the temperature is so low because it can get pretty dang cold here in Minnesota. This is a great place to test out a car or to buy a car from because, you know, if you can survive the elements here, you can probably manage having it anywhere. But what I'm saying is that it gets so, the temperature is so low because it's been zero. It was zero just now when I was parking. Zero degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and at that temperature, really, it normally would not snow. Usually snow and precipitation happens like the snow usually would happen around 32 degrees, but it's zero and it's snowing. It's still literally snowing right now. But because it's so cold and it's snowing, the snow is not a wet snow. It's one of the powdery, dusty snows that the kind that looks real pretty in those movies that you see. It's wonderful life for whatever movies. Um, and there are times when movies are I'm done here because this is the real stuff. You don't need any fake snow here, for sure. I'm sure the tow truck, tow truck drivers and snow plow drivers are probably very happy right now because this is big business for them. I'm not trying to accuse them of anything, but this is a time when they make a lot of money. Just like our sledding and skiing area and outdoor sports, all the, you know, snowshoeing and and the whole bit. I'm sure they're pretty happy with weather like it is today. But I tell you, it was yucky getting home. And this is just the beginning. This is like the tip of the iceberg. The rest of it is still to come all night tonight. And by tomorrow, we're supposed to have the really forceful winds. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm not sure which places of business will be open tomorrow or not. Places of business may be closing early, like many did today. Some that I tried to call. The phone just rang and rang and rang because nobody wants to be stuck in this. For example, um, my neighbor said that she was going somewhere that she usually goes that normally takes her 25 minutes. It took her an hour and a half today. That's a significant change. Thankfully, I didn't have far to go to get home. Yay. But it still took me like 10 minutes. Normally it would be five minutes. It took me 10 minutes. And then that's because 
it was kind of that under the radar time when it's just before the rush hour really happens and um, even though everybody's trying to get home. But getting here a little sooner made things a lot better for me. So I will be back in touch with you a little bit later. I'm going to finish getting more of these layers off because I got the snow pants on the, the whole nine. I had it all on because it is really stupidly cold today. And like I said, it's snowing, which looks beautiful. It looks really wonderful. But it's not fun to be out in, especially for those that are unsheltered or, or have no no home. I'm sure this is a really difficult time for them. But thanks for joining me, and I will see you again soon.